Now, let's take that thought of international being ready. So Delta, of course, is part of SkyTeam. Another leading member of SkyTeam is KLM. The chief executive of KLM says there's a huge amount of enthusiasm for U.S. travel in Europe and the airlines already adding new routes. Last week, KLM said it was adding services to Miami and Las Vegas on top of new routes to Cancun and Caribbean. KLM might not have even been in this position were it not for a government bailout last year. Peter Elbers, the, CNA, the, the CEO, told me it's the passengers who will really decide its future. What has happened is unprecedented and I would like to say the industry survived because of the government support. It will recover because of our customers getting back and, and again if we see the enthusiasm of customers getting back people want to fly again and, and that gives a lot, of, a lot of confidence to the future. How quickly are you going to get back up fully running? I mean you're, you're, you're about to see the US open both ways. Yeah well we saw already in the summer when the US opened or when the, the transatlantic opened for US customers we see Americans coming back to Europe now with the recent announcements we see a lot of enthusiasm in the European market to go to go back to the US so we are back at KLM we are back almost with our our network in terms of destinations we are reintroducing a couple of destinations like Las Vegas and Miami this this winter and we see really an uptick of demand there I noticed that New Zealand has now announced it wants passengers to be vaccinated yeah these are tricky waters for you. Yeah, I mean, passengers being vaccinated for me is a complete different thing. We fly to 80 countries and all the 80 countries, we follow the rules of the country. So if the country says you have to be vaccinated, you're vaccinated. If the countries are demanding crews to be vaccinated, we'll make sure that we sell vaccinated crews. And I think there comes a point where if a lot of countries are saying that having not all crew vaccinated sort of limits your ability to operate. Then we'll have a whole different discussion. For now, we are encouraging our crews and step by step, we're getting to higher numbers. What's your biggest problem at the moment? Uh, the instability of the travel advice. Our customers want to travel, but we still see an erratic pattern of governments changing rules and regulations all the time. So I think the predictability and the consistency of rules and regulations is the biggest challenge. At it's this not going to happen. Time. Well, it's, it's not going to happen, but step by step, we could see countries are looking to each other and are, are hopefully learning something from the very erratic pattern we had so far. Of all the airlines, you fly the flag on the sustainable issues. Yeah. Um, net zero 2050. It's necessary, but it's not sufficient. Well, K KLM uh, has taken a, a, a leading role already years ago and when in 2019 you and I were sitting together and, and we had introduced our fly responsibly we got a lot of support um, if I see the momentum now in the industry going on and the change in the past two years I feel very confident that with the shared efforts and the shared sort of ambitions we're having, technology will help us. Yes, there's a long way to go. The amount of SAFs today is very limited. The amount of, of alternative fuels is, is still limited. But if you see how people are now uniting to solve this issue, I, I feel much more confident on this topic than two years ago. Finally, I asked you once before when we were talking about what you learned about yourself during the crisis. Now I can ask you face to face. At the worst moments and in the decisions that you had to take during those weeks and months in February, March, April, May, June, July of last year, in terms of you, what did you, what did you discover about your ability to handle crisis? that you always need to take care of your energy balance. You know, you had, so much, you had so much headwind all the time that you need to discover the things which are giving you energy. And the fact that we operated cargo-only flight, the fact that we shipped medical equipment, the fact that we were welcomed in countries by presidents saying KLM is a bringer of hope with medicines, that gives you so much energy to continue also all the tough work. So the energy balance has been the, 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 the biggest learning for me.